Welcome to Krasnodar, a city in Russia probably most of you have never even heard of. So, I'm in Astrakhan Airport and I'm about to fly to the city of Krasnodar, another city that most people outside of Russia have probably never heard of. Let's go and see what's there. So I've just arrived, rather blustery, but this street here is known as Red Street, Krasnaya Ulitsa, and it's like one of the main streets, and it's pedestrianised as you can see, and it's where everything's happening. So let's have a walk down here and see what we can see. So Krasnodar actually means red gift, and it was gifted to a group of people called the Cossacks by Catherine the Great, because they defended this whole area from the Ottomans. They built a fortress on top of the hill, and there's a statue here that is a memorial to the Cossacks. Here it is. And just behind it, a magnificent governmental building, no doubt. Look at that, with all the hammer and sickles on the top and the flag of Russia. And look at this, just opposite. Famous general, no doubt. And then some guy stabbing a dragon. Excellent. And a great fountain. Look at that. City's got a lot of fountains, apparently. And just opposite the fountain, this marvellous little church with a golden onion dome top. Look at it. So yeah, Krasnodar looks pretty good, doesn't it? I like that mural on the wall over there. Let's see if I can get closer to it. Looks amazing. Full of religious icons and imagery. I love it. walking past the Philharmonica this guy with the biggest accordion I've ever seen in my life look at that look how busy it is here she is Catherine the Great standing amid a bunch of Cossacks, her favoured Cossacks, one who was reportedly her lover. And now I'm heading to an amazing building, the Legislative Assembly building, with a fountain in front of it, all atmospherically lit. And now, in front of me, the Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Amazing, with its golden domes, its white facade. Uh, it's got all the ingredients of an excellent Russian Orthodox cathedral. I've seen a lot of Alexander Nevsky cathedrals and churches in Russia and in the former Soviet republics. And from what I've read, he was a 13th century warrior, a great warrior, so good in fact that they made him a saint. Here is a statue to Pushkin, Russia's most famous poet and regarded as the founder of Russian literature. And appropriately enough, just behind him is the Bibliotheca, the library. But look at this fantastic building. What is it? Is it part of the library? If so, it's the grandest library I think I've ever seen in all my travels. Right, that's it. Back to the hotel. A 10 minute walk all along here. So it's the next morning, back on this main street. Now most of the major sites are along here so I'm going to walk along this. It should be about an hour's walk all the way along. So I've been walking for about 10 minutes and I'm coming up to like the more modern side of Krasnodar. Look at this skyscraper. And I'm coming up now to Theatre Square which apparently is home to the largest splash fountain in Europe. Whatever a splash fountain is. This surely can't be it. Well large in area I suppose but I, I was expecting like a huge thing anyway look at that massive Russian flag and then theatre square well I don't think there's any dangerous swimming unless you're an ant and look at this fantastic obelisk which is commemorating 200 years of something, maybe the founding of the city. Now, this is something I'm going to try to get to. Apparently, you can climb up this. It's something that Krasnodar's famous for. Here he 
are. Tchaikovsky Tower. I think it used to be a water tower. Maybe it still is. Um, the stairs inside look a bit rickety and I can't see anybody else climbing them. You can't go to any Russian city without seeing something like this. One of these fantastic war memorials. This one's showing like a proud soldier with his weapon and like a little girl, possibly his daughter in front of him, like he's protecting her. And then over here, all the generals all lined up with their medals. I like it. What is she sketching? Maybe the sun? So this statue behind me is a famous one in Krasnodar because people of a certain generation will remember and their students called Shurik and Lidonska and it brings back memories for a lot of people when they see this statue. Well, look at this, it says there Ekaterina, Catherine. And just behind it this fantastic Arc de Triomphe. Uh, I think it was where Alexander III, Tsar Alexander, used to come through when he visited Krasnodar. So I'm just taking a detour from Krasnaya which is the Red Street, to see this flower clock. There you go. And it's the correct time. So these behind me are the Avrora Fountains. And just behind the boards there is the Avrora Monument. It was actually the highest point of the city and it's where the Cossacks built their first fort, their stronghold. And another memorial. This one to the comrades of 1920, just after the Soviet Union formed. So I'm just toying with the idea of doing a, a hefty 35 minute walk to see something that I saw a picture of. Can I be bothered? Let's go. Made it. And you know what? It was worth it. Now you might be thinking, I've been staring at this golden domed church and come all this way for that. Well, you're wrong. It's this. How amazing is this? A MiG fighter jet, fully laden with its weapons. Spectacular. But now we're here, we might as well see the, uh, the church. It's called the Church of John the Warrior. And apparently there's like a military flight school around here so that might explain the uh, the mig and actually around the back there was loads of soldiers stood about or maybe air cadets i'm not sure so i think you'll agree it was worth it for both the church and that mig fighter jet just now on the way to like a war museum full of tanks and things just passing this this river with the apartments in the distance. So this is where I am. Park Pobedi. My second MIG of the day. And there's a helicopter over here. Let's go and have a look at that. Look at this. You wouldn't want to mess with that, would you? So this park is called Victory Park and it's a bit of a weird mix because it seems half kiddies playground with rides and donuts and the other half is like war memorials. So I think I found the mother load of Russian weapons and tanks and missiles and things. I honestly didn't realize there was such a, a range of different types of tank. I mean, from a distance, all the tanks look the same to me, but actually when you see them, totally different. So this one weighed 30 tons and it had four people, four Chelebek. 45 tons and five people. Okay, here we've got the Chernoya More, which is the Black Sea. And then you can just see Krasnodar written there, Krasnodar. And you see all these red lines pushing the, pushing the Germans out. Wow. I like the fact up there is the flag of the Soviet Union. So if you'd have been here prior to 1991, this is the flag you'd have seen everywhere. Just come to the end of it, a nice little boardwalk. There's some of the skyscrapers of Krasnodar in the distance. So now I'm just going to head back over this bridge, back into the city. So there we are, 
back at the hotel sightseeing in Krasnodar. So now I hope you know a little bit more about this city that I'd never even heard of until a few weeks ago. See you next time in the next city, Volgograd. I'm Jason Smart and if you've liked this travel video, please click subscribe.